In this series, we are exploring what it looks like to spiritually prepare our young people for Limitless Festival. And over the next few minutes, I wanna look at what it looks like to help prepare our young people for encountering the presence of God across Limitless Festival. For many of us, encountering God looks so different and I'm, I'm well aware of that. And it will be true as well for our young people. Our young people engage with God in different ways. And perhaps for some of you, you don't have many Christian young people in your youth group. You just have loads of people that come that you would love to encounter Jesus. Encountering the presence of God is different for us all. Some of us encounter the presence of God in stillness and silence. For many of us, encountering the presence of God looks very different to that. It's in a room with music and lots of other people. Whatever it looks like, we want to create a space at Limitless Festival, of course, where young people can come and encounter the presence of God. Um, I don't know if you're like me, but I actually mainly encounter the presence of God in things like stillness and, and silence. And for some of us who I speak to, I know encountering God looks very different to that. It looks like noise and being with lots of people and, and that's good as well. And our young people will be very similar. Some of our young people may never have encountered the presence of God before. Some of our young people may have been raised and brought up in church and know exactly what it means to be in a worshipping environment. Well, whatever it looks like for you and for your young people, I want to encourage you to start thinking about, well, how can we lead our young people towards Limitless Festival? Being aware of what will take place there in the main sessions with worship and with singing and with preaches and talks and all the different elements that will take place in the worship environment of our main sessions. Perhaps you've got non-Christians uh, and a lot of them in your youth group or perhaps you've got a youth group that's filled with Christian young people. Well, whatever it looks like, I want to encourage you, how can we shape them and help them to be prepared for Limitless Festival and for encountering the presence of God? Perhaps it, it looks like getting your young people together and asking them questions like, well, who is the Holy Spirit? Why do people sing songs? What does worship look like? Why do people lift up their hands when they're singing? What does it mean to invite the Holy Spirit in the room? These questions that so often happen in these environments, how can we encourage our young people to engage with that before we get there? We have had these conversations with our young people on the Approach to Limitless Festival many times before, and we've had some of our young people ask some, some of the most incredible questions that have got us as leaders thinking as well. But after one of the conversations we had with our young people, there was a beautiful thing that came out of it that we decided we were gonna implement across one of the festivals. And I wanna quickly tell you about what that was and about how hopefully it might encourage you just to think differently to the worship environment. This one time we, when we gathered our young people, um, we started to have conversations around the program and, and one of them asked the question of, well, what, what does the main session look like at Limitless Festival? What, what does the morning or the evening sessions look like? And they, their eyes were naturally attracted to all the fun things taking place and they started to go through the program and then got to this question. So we started to go through what a typical um, evening session would look like with a preach and a band singing songs and all these different things. Lots of people together in a room worshiping in the person of Jesus and we certainly in the moment realized that this young person had never been in an environment like that so we started to ask some questions around well, what would help you in that environment we want to try create a safety blanket within our group where even in an environment that's estranged to you you can feel comfortable and one of the things that came from that is this decision that we made and it's a real simple decision we decided that in every evening session at Limitless Festival we were going to delegate one youth leader to be a point person in our group and this youth leader wouldn't just be worshipping and singing songs and doing all these kind of things but this worship this leader's uh, aim and goal was to look across our young people and just start to think is there anyone here who looks disengaged is there anyone here who perhaps even doesn't look disengaged but is just looking around and looks like they've got questions? And the youth leader's goal would be to go and engage in conversation with these young people during the middle of these worship moments. And they would ask questions like, what do you think's happening right now? Why do you think people are doing what they're doing? Do you sense anything differently? And in the middle of this worship moment, 
we would have leaders engaging with some of our young people about what was taking place. It was in those moments that we have experienced some of the most incredible encounters with God. We have had young people honestly sharing about what they are feeling and what they are experiencing, even though they've never been in those environments. And all it took was one conversation with a group of young people and one decision to make a youth leader available in the moment to see that take place. At Limitless Festival, we long for, and we are praying for your young people to encounter the presence of God, to encounter Jesus, whatever that may look like for them. But how could you as a leader lead your youth group to a place to be prepared for what that may look like at Limitless Festival? We are desperate to see young people encounter Jesus and I believe you can help them do it.